So this is the control panel for tortillas de casa, and this is just a general overview of how the controls work and how to understand the screen. So to begin by going over some of these features, you have your basic disconnect, e-stop, and then we have uh, a flex screw, of which there's one for two unloading uh, machines. And then we have uh, an auto setting. When we're automatically batching, this controls it automatically. You can manually run it forward. You can manually jog it reverse for clean out purposes. And we're gonna leave that in auto. Next we have the hopper vibrator. This is the small vibrator that's actually on the hopper. And here again, it's left in the auto mode. We can turn it off entirely or we can leave it on indefinitely. Then we have the individual gyrators for each unloading machine. This is for unloading machine number two. Here again, auto, off, on, same concept. Here again, and then here we have gyrator one, auto, off, on. And then down below we have our start button. So this is what initiates the beginning of the batch. We have this, which will light during the batch and turn off when it's done. If you need to interrupt the batch, you can hit stop scale. Then you have slide gate 2 jog, which manually opens the slide gate for the unloading machine. Then we have slide gate 1 jog. Now, as to the scale, there are a number of things to uh, understand. First of all, we have two scales per machine. So here at the top, we see scale number 1 weight, which we've got set with a simulator at 2,001 pounds. We have scale number 2, which is set at 1,996 pounds and we see various status messages. We have idle ready to dispense, we have delivered zero, we have a target of 250 pounds as an example for the first machine, we have a target of 350 pounds for the second machine. So if you want to arrange these set points differently you would go to setup and then here we see a basic menu. We have the first target F1 which is set at 250. If you need to change the recipe you can change that by selecting target 1 you enter a new target, you select 270, let's say, hit enter, now we see 270. We have target 2 at 350, and we can change that if we like to say 300. Hit enter, and there we are. We have a settle time of 3 seconds, you can adjust this down to 1 second, depending on your material. If you have some time where the batch finishes and you need the material to settle down after it's been dispensed. And then here we have what are called pre -acts, which is a one pound setting, which means when the batch is one pound away from its target, it will shut off. In other words, if you have material that is in suspension or still flowing, you want to account for that while the batch is moving. We set this to one pound minimums, and you can even set that to something other like 50 pounds, 20 pounds, just depending on what you think is going to make this thing the, more, the most accurate. So if we go back to our main screen, we have our regular status, and then if we hit start by the lower left hand corner, we begin dispensing. And so we start losing material in scale one. Now I'm deliberately leaving scale, I'm sorry, scale two. I'm deliberately leaving scale one alone to illustrate a point, but which we'll get to in a minute. As you can see, it says delivered so far, which matches. And then as we get closer, we're going to hit 300 and reach our target. And it says cycle complete. Now I overshot it slightly, so it's 302.1 pounds. Now notice that on scale 1, we haven't done anything, because I haven't moved the scale. So I hit start again. Start losing weight on scale 1. Here again, we see that the delivered weight matches what is lost. and we have a complete cycle. Now I overshot this a little more at 295.3 pounds, but here again we have a complete cycle. And the idea here is that if for some reason one material doesn't flow as well as the other, it won't affect the batch of the other. So even if you have a material that for some reason just isn't moving, you can still uh, get the right amount of your other material. So that's just a feature that we accounted for, but this will dispense simultaneously.